Welcome back to Season 5 of Marie Speaks God's Grace Bible Study. Link to video class, pending. What to expect this lesson? This lesson we will continue in Moses of blessed memories speech to the nation of Israel before his death and them carrying on to the promised land. Moses goes over the Ten Commandments to the next generation. This review of the Ten Commandments is a review for the younger ones who are now adults and a possible first time hearing for those who had been born during the 40 years wandering in the desert. Moses stressing the importance of adhering to the commandments of the El Road is another wonderful act of obedience on his part and grace on our Father in Heaven's part. For the portion of a portion Deuteronomy, Bachanan, began at Devarim ch 3 verse 23 and will run through Devarim chapter 7 verse 11. We will continue to increase in our intro Hebrew vocabulary, intro Hebrew terminology, Tanakh, the actual Jewish Bible, introduction, and Torah spiritual teaching. I have added to the blog newsletter the blessings before and after reading the Torah. This week's Jewish terminology word, converso. Today's Jewish terminology word is converso. This Ladino word, Judeo-Spanish, root word is convert. Sometimes one's history or ancestors can have dark or not so glorious seasons. In current times, many enjoy the spirit of victimhood that can possibly come from possible dark areas in one's family historical line. This week's Jewish terminology word, I'm not going to lie, has me as they say. In my feelings. History is sometimes not pleasant. History is sometimes dark. When that darkness hits close to home, God forbid. It can lead to more questions than answers. I have been sporadically researching my own family history. Some days have been joyful. Other days frustrating and ended in tears. I have often ended days or research sessions asking God more questions and not finding any answers. Below are some interesting finds I want to share. What does the term converso mean and where does it come from? This term was for those Jews who were forced to convert to Christianity in the Middle Ages during the Spanish Inquisition. Spanish Inquisition The Tribunal of the Holy Office of the Inquisition, commonly known as the Spanish Inquisition, was established in 1478 by the Catholic monarchs, King Ferdinand II of Aragon and Queen Isabella I of Castile. The Spanish Inquisition is interpretable as a response to the multi-religious nature of Spanish society following the reconquest of the Iberian Peninsula from the Muslim Moors. After invading in 711, the Moors controlled large areas of the Iberian Peninsula until 1250, afterwards they were restricted to Granada, which fell in 1492. The Spanish Inquisition was a judicial institution that lasted between 1478 and 1834. Its ostensible purpose was to combat heresy in Spain, but, in practice, it resulted in consolidating power in the monarchy of the newly unified Spanish Kingdom. Its brutal methods led to widespread death and suffering. The Roman Catholic Church had established inquisitions in the past. Taking their name from the Latin verb inquiro, inquire into, these commissions had authority to question supposed heretics about their religious practices and loyalties starting in the 13th century. Unlike much of Western Europe at the time, medieval Spain was a multiracial and multireligious country with large Muslim and Jewish populations. The Spanish Inquisition was a judicial institution that lasted between 1478 and 1834. Jews were often forced to publicly convert to avoid torture or death. The threat that was commonly used for those that would not recant on Judaism was, burning at the stake, downing, poisoning, rape, dismemberment, and many other public or ceremonial, satanic ritual torture and satanic ritual murder. The many religious Jews who did publicly recant the faith of Judaism, but continued to practice aspects of Judaism in secret. Through the centuries these families became assimilated into Spanish society. Today, some Catholics in these countries will practice rituals that echo Judaism like not eating pork and even observe Jewish high holidays. Converso, is a more accurate less disparaging term to the more frequently used morano. Morano, which comes from the Spanish word swine. This disparaging term was used for those Jews who were publicly Catholics, to preserve life, but secretly Jews. They were known as Morano Jews or cryptic Jews. Are there others who possibly spoke Ladino? Ladino, westernized Central American person of predominantly mixed Spanish and indigenous descent. In that sense, Ladino is synonymous with Mestizo. The word Ladino is Spanish, meaning Latin, 
and the Ladinos of Central America are not to be confused with those Sephardic Jews who speak the Ladino language. The term came later to apply to anyone, regardless of ancestry, who rejected indigenous culture. Ladinos were accepted by neither the various Maya peoples nor by the Spanish, whose language and manner of dress they adopted and who considered them superior to the Maya but inferior to themselves. The Maya considered them traitors. Ladinos are readily recognizable by their exclusive use of the Spanish language, rather than indigenous languages, and by their decided preference for Western, rather than traditional, dress. My Thoughts Sometimes one's history or ancestors can have dark or not-so-glorious seasons. In current times, many enjoy the spirit of victimhood that can possibly come from possible dark areas in one's family historical line. Now, as I have said before I am an annoying optimistic kind of person. I know personally, some of my ancestors were probably not the best characters. Some in my family line might have been great, wonderful, brave, or even cowards. Who really knows? I chose Believe God Almighty, had me in their family line for a reason. Maybe I am here to rebuild our name? Maybe I am here to claim our heritage? Maybe, I am here to right or correct wrongs? I honestly, believe God gives us all a mission for this life. We have to ask Him and Him alone what that mission is and how might we accomplish the mission while we are here. Maybe? Well, I do know this. No one's else's choices determine my future. So with love I say this. Don't let someone else's actions, family, friends, or even foe, determine your actions or future. Instead, let's choose to look into God's word for answers. Let's decide today and from now on to listen to God. If God allowed it or them, it must have been for our good. We may not understand. We may not agree how some things came about. This might have been painful or even God forbid very very difficult. But, we can trust that God is on His throne and there is always a reason and purpose. Jeremiah 29 11-14 For I am mindful of the plans I have made concerning you, declares the Lord, plans for your welfare, not for disaster, to give you a hopeful future. When you call me, and come and pray to me, I will give heed to you. You will search for me and find me, if only you seek me wholeheartedly. I will be at hand for you, declares the Lord, and I will restore your fortunes. And I will gather you from all the nations and from all the places to which I have banished you, declares the Lord, and I will bring you back to the place from which I have exiled you. With God's merciful protection, love, and grace, until next time. Marie. Hashtag thank you. Ha. Shem. The blog post that is coupled with live Bible studies can be found by clicking here. Blessings of the Torah Why Blessings of the Torah? Before we begin the study of the Torah, blessing is done. In saying the blessing we are fulfilling a mitzvah and blessing Hashem of glory and truth's beautiful Torah. A mitzvah is defined basically as 1. A commandment of the Jewish law 2. The fulfillment of such a commandment 3. A worthy deed I say these blessings every morning during my morning prayers. And to ensure I am not leading others into to improper practices, I want to ensure I repeat the blessings of Hashem our merciful Father's Torah just in case others may not have yet had a chance today. Blessings of the Torah Blessed are you, Hashem our God, King of the Universe, who sanctified us with His commandments and commanded us to be engrossed in the words of Torah. Hashem our God, please make the words of your Torah pleasant in our mouths and in the mouths of your people Israel. And may we and our descendants, and the descendants of our descendants, and the descendants of your people the house of Israel, all know your name and be students of your Torah for its own sake. Blessed are you, Hashem who teaches Torah to his people, Israel. Blessed are you, Hashem our God, King of the universe who chose us from among all the peoples and gave us his Torah. Blessed are you, Hashem, giver of the Torah. Blessing before the reading of the Torah. Borchu esadu noi han voroch. Bless the El Road who is blessed. Congregation and Ole say. Borukadu noi han voroch lalam vo ed. Bless be the El Road who is blessed for all eternity. Ole continues. Borukata du noi eloheinu melech ho olum, asherbochar banu mikal ha mim, nozen lanu estoroso. Borukata du noi, nosean ha toro. Blessed are you, El Road RGD. 
King of the universe, who has chosen us from among all the nations and given us his Torah. Blessed are you El Rod, who gives the Torah. Let us begin with today's lesson. Bible study handbook sources I love to use are linked below as well as on our website. 1. Portion on portion of Bible study can be found by double-clicking this hyperlink. The portions have been covered up to Devarim ch 7 verse 11. 2. Biblical text portion of Bible study. Tanakh. Devarim Bajanan. Chapter 5 verses 1 thru 18. Verses 1 through 6. Moses summoned all the Israelites and said to them, Hear, O Israel, the laws and rules that I proclaim to you this day. Study them and observe them faithfully. Our God made a covenant with us at Horeb. It was not with our ancestors that made this covenant, but with us, the living, every one of us who is here today. Face to face spoke to you on the mountain out of the fire. I stood between and you at that time to convey words to you, for you were afraid of the fire and did not go up the mountain, saying, I am your God who brought you out of the land of Egypt, the house of bondage. Commentary The commanding words, here learn be careful to perform, really stood out to me. Moses is our teacher and prophet and instrument, in service of Almighty God, given to the nation of Israel, to live, teach, and show Hashem's glory and might and grace and mercy, to name a few, while he is here on earth. Let's look at some definitions that might describe how amazing Moses as a prophet was and why there has never been none like him since. Definition of Zadik Someone who does extremely righteous deeds. A highly learned and esteemed rabbinic leader, sometimes used as an alternative name for a Hasidic Rebbe. Common name for the 18th letter of the Hebrew alphabet, Zadi, Sad. Zadik Tzia Dik Zadik Zadik. Definition of Moshiach, who is Moshiach, the Jewish Messiah. Dash Moshiach 101, Chabad. Who is Moshiach, the Jewish Messiah. The messianic redemption will be ushered in by a person, a human leader, a descendant of kings David and Solomon, who will reinstate the Davidic royal dynasty. According to tradition, Moshiach will be wiser than Solomon, and a prophet around the level of Moses. Moshiach Moshiach The Messiah Jewish belief of the Moshiach the Messiah, Jewish virtual library. Most significantly, Jewish tradition affirms at least five things about the Messiah. He will be a descendant of King David, gain sovereignty over the land of Israel, gather the Jews there from the four corners of the earth, restore them to full observance of Torah law, and, as a grand finale, bring peace to the whole world. Interesting fact. There have been several followers who believe their rabbi was a messiah or Mashiach, for example in recent times referred to as Meshishist Meshikist. There is a small group who believes that Rabbi Menachem Mendel Schneerson, the Rebbe of Abad Hasidism, is the Messiah. Some Meshishists insist that despite appearances the Rebbe did in fact die on June 12, 1994. For those who are unfamiliar with the Rebbe please click who was Rabbi Menachem Mendel Schneerson and view a class given by one of my favorite Jewish historians of today to listen to, Dr. Henry Abramson. In not paid to endorse nor affiliated. My point in sharing the above would be explained in further detail during the recording of the Bible study. But, my main point is, sometimes a person can be such a great person that those who they teach might raise them to the ideal heartful thought of being a Messiah or Mashiach. It's happened before in biblical times and it'll happen again. Definition of Teacher Dash One who teaches, especially one hired to teach. One who teaches or instructs, one whose business or occupation is to instruct others, a preceptor, an instructor, a tutor, in a restricted sense, one who gives instruction in religion, specifically in early New England congregationalism, a clergyman charged with the duty of giving religious instruction to a church, in some churches the offices of pastor and teacher being at first distinct. One who teaches or instructs, one whose business or occupation is to instruct others, an instructor, a tutor. Definition of Prophet, NAVI, NAVI The primary job of a prophet was to arouse the people and the government to repentance and observance. The traditional view is that prophecy was removed from the world after the destruction of the first temple. Those prophets who are mentioned after that, were alive at the time of the destruction. Definition of an instrument MEN Strong's Concordance 4482 Original word Part of speech, noun masculine Transliteration, 
Men. Phonetic spelling, main definition, string, of a harp. Numbers 12 verses 3 thru 8. Now Moses himself was very humble, more so than any other human being on earth. Suddenly called to Moses, Aaron, and Miriam, Come out, you three, to the tent of meeting. So the three of them went out. Came down in a pillar of cloud, stopped at the entrance of the tent, and called out, Aaron and Miriam. The two of them came forward. And, God, said, Hear these my words, when prophets have arise among you, I make myself known to them in a vision, I speak with them in a dream. Not so with my servant Moses, he is trusted throughout my household. With him I speak mouth to mouth, plainly and not in riddles, and he beholds the likeness of. How then did you not shrink from speaking against my servant Moses? Now reading the verse above we have a far off glimpse of how awesome and amazing Moses was to and for the nation of Israel. Helper Source For those that are looking for a Jewish online dictionary please click hyperlink to Jewish English Lexicon. Let's continue. Verse 6, I'm Hashem, I'm your God WHO brought you out of the land of Egypt, the house of bondage. Hashem 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 N. God, Lit. The name equals equals meaning of the name a name beyond and above all names. Our God is our Savior. Verse 10, But showing kindness to the thousandth generation of those WHO love me and keep my commandments. Commentary But who? Shows kindness for thousands for generations to those who? This is conditional, deserves, earns, strives for, conditional, observes. Conditional definition Adjective Imposing, depending on, or containing a condition. Synonym, dependent. Stating, containing, or implying a condition. Brought about by conditioning. The condition of the blessings and showing of kindness from Hashem blessed be He, is dependent on. Observation The commandments, laws, ordinances, and decrees, include those who He sends to act and teach us. As Moses did. Verses 7 Thru 12. You shall have no other gods beside me. You shall not make for yourself a sculptured image, any likeness of what is in the heavens above, or on the earth below, or in the waters below the earth. You shall not bow down to them or serve them. For I your God am an impassioned God, visiting the guilt of the parents upon the children, upon the third and upon the fourth generations of those who reject me. But showing kindness to the thousandth generation of those who love me and keep my commandments. You shall not swear falsely by the name of your God, for will not clear one who swears falsely by God's name. Observe the Sabbath day and keep it holy, as your God has commanded you. Commentary Verse 12, Observe the Sabbath day and keep it holy, as your God has commanded you. How does one sanctify the Shabbat? References how to observe the Shabbat as a converting or reverting Jew? Sources how to observe thee as a non-Jew? A show that might help others learn is below and hyperlinked. 355, Episode 26 Controversial Issues, Can a Noahide Keep the Sabbath? Te Nak Talk, Ta Na Ch, Wednesdays, 8 p.m. Controversial Issues, with Rabbi Chaim Kaufman. Moving on. The Complete Ten Commandments is once again taught. But this time to a new generation, to include some of the former generations who were young at the time that their elders and ancestors passed away while during the 40 years in the desert. The new generation of elders, priests, Kohanim, and all who were in the nation of Israel. At this time the nation of Israel is are being retaught the Ten Commandments down to the Tenth. Part of the job of a prophet is to hear from God, then teach the masses the word of Hashem. The reason there are so many variety of prophets today is the holiness is dispersed. Why is holiness dispersed instead of one concentrated area? Great question, I'm glad you asked. In a former Bible study so we talked about the souls of those standing at, Har, Mount Sinai leaping out of one's body when God spoke. They who were at Har Sinai heard voice of God. But God spoke to the nation of Israel from an all-consuming fire. The voice of God, was heard, the nation of Israel heard the voice of God, they were so fearful from their soul leaping outside of their body. They asked the prophet Moses to be there in liaison or more accurately intermittently in between them and God. Define intermediary existing or occurring between, intermediate. Acting as a mediator or an agent between persons or things. Define intercessor one who intercedes or makes intercession, especially with the stronger for the weaker, 
a person who pleads with one in behalf of another, or endeavors to reconcile parties at variance, a mediator. One who goes between, or intercedes, a mediator. Define liaison an instance or a means of communication between different groups or units of an organization, especially in the armed forces. One that maintains communication. Today's generations might be far more wicked than the past. In keeping with this teaching if one single holy prophet like Moses, the presence of them speaking from God. To a such wicked generation? I would think. Most likely it is assumed that the population or nations would evaporate from being in the presence of someone so holy. This is why there are several prophets, and teachers and priests, distributed throughout the world today, in order to hear from God to teach His word and to rebuke the masses. But, when Hashem's Moshiach comes, we will all know, He will rebuke the nations. I personally think, those who do not make it Shiva or repent, will immediately evaporate upon the rebuke of Hashem's true Moshiach. OA Amen. Verse 13, Six days you shall labor and do all your work. But the seventh day is a Sabbath of your God, you shall not do any work, you, your son or your daughter, your male or female slave, your ox or your ass, or any of your cattle, or the stranger in your settlements, so that your male and female slave may rest as you do. Verse 14, And your converts. Converts or those in the process of converting, are required to hear, learn, and carefully perform all the commandments spoken by Moshe to the nation of Israel. In our prayers we state HaShem did not get the Shabbat to other nations nor did he give the Shabbat to the heathen nations, but it is held as a covenant. Between, us and him is one of the many symbols of us being in his covenant. That means those who are converting to Judaism more are training. So to speak baby Jews, have an obligation to learn their new religious ways in order to preserve the culture, heritage, and his nation of Israel, and the people. Heathens or those living wickedly, let's be honest have no goal in observing the Shabbat. I believe this is why the world teachers to party like a rock star on Friday nights and to sleep in all day Saturday nursing the latest hangover or drunken leftovers. No thank you. I'll take Hashem over that life any day. Honestly, wish I had realized this sooner. Uck. Well, better late than never? Ha 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 ha. Let's move on. Definition of Slave Slavery in Judaism, Jewish Virtual Library The Hebrew term for slave, Eved, is a direct derivation from the Hebrew verb lavad, to work, thus, the slave in Jewish law is really only a worker or servant. The Eved differs from the hired worker, Sakir, in three respects, he receives no wages for his work, he is a member of his master's household, and, his master exercises patria potestas over him, for example, the master may choose a wife for the slave and retains ownership of her, and he has proprietary rights in him. The term slave or maid servant of this commandment refers to non-Jewish slaves who were required to observe the commandment per Robin to Exodus chapter 20 verse 10. In short those who don't recognize the beauty of the Torah I love the Torah or love Hashem and no way shape or form are looking to convert to Judaism nor are they looking to observe the holy Shabbat what are your thoughts? Verses 15 THRU 18 Remember that you were a slave in the land of Egypt and your God freed you from there with a mighty hand and an outstretched arm, therefore your God has commanded you to observe the Sabbath day. Honor your father and your mother, as your God has commanded you, that you may long endure and that you may fare well, in the land that your God is assigning to you. You shall not murder. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not steal. You shall not bear false witness against your neighbor. You shall not covet your neighbor's wife. Likewise, none of you shall crave your neighbor's house, or field, or male or female slave, or ox, or ass, or anything that is your neighbor's. Chapter 5 Dovarim verses 19 THRU 30 Spoke those words, those and no more, to your whole congregation at the mountain, with a mighty voice out of the fire, and thence clouds. God, inscribed them on two tablets of stone and gave them to me. When you heard the voice out of the darkness, while the mountain was ablaze with fire, you came up to me, all your tribal heads and elders. And said, Our God has just shown us a majestic presence, and we have heard God's voice out of the fire, we have seen this day that humankind may live though addressed by God. Verse 21, And said, Our God has just shown you as a majestic presence, and we have heard God's voice out of the fire, we have seen this day that humankind may live though addressed by God. Commentary We have heard this as voice from the midst of the fire, 
This verse echoes the verse that we read in Deuteronomy chapter 4 where it said, that God was not a man he did not present himself as an animal or a man or any way she performed but nothing, but a beautiful voice was heard from the midst of all consuming fire. This is why we are not to make idols of any such figures and bow down to them, any idol created in quote unquote to be a representative of God. Is an idol. God has no shape or form he is an all-consuming fire and you can hear him. If we speak to him and have a relationship with him through his beautiful voice. Verses 22 THRU 30 Let us not die, then, for this fearsome fire will consume us, if we hear the voice of our God any longer, we shall die. For what mortal ever heard the voice of the living God speak out of the fire, as we did, and lived? You go closer and hear all that our God says, and then you tell us everything that our God tells you, and we will willingly do it. Heard the plea that you made to me, and said to me, I have heard the plea that this people made to you, they did well to speak thus. May they always be of such mind, to revere me and follow all my commandments, that it may go well with them and with their children forever. Go, say to them, return to your tents. But you remain here with me, and I will give you the whole instruction, the laws and the rules, that you shall impart to them, for them to observe in the land that I am giving them to possess. Be careful, then, to do as your God has commanded you. Do not turn aside to the right or to the left. Follow only the path that your God has enjoined upon you, so that you may thrive and that it may go well with you, and that you may long endure in the land you are to possess. In conclusion, I am left with the same thoughts that I have had since season 1. Everyone has a choice. And everything has a choice. Accept the Torah, turn from evil and do good, or even chose this day whom one shall serve. In any case, some will chose the life in Torah with Hashem. And, sadly some will chose the sword. Oa Amen and Oa Amen. Blessings after reading the Torah. Baruch atah adu noi Eloheinu melech ho olum, asher nozen lanu toras eams, shiye olum nota bisakainu. Baruch atah adu noi, nosean ha toro. Translation. Blessed are you, El wrote our God, King of the Universe, who has given us the Torah of truth and planted eternal life within us. Blessed are you El Rod, who gives the Torah. Credit learn the Torah blessings for an Aliyah. Biblical portion of Bible study complete. Note. The spiritual teaching of the Torah is be only during live Bible study. The Torah verses below are for those who like to read or study the Torah during their own time. For the sake of avoiding repeating the verses, I will only go over the verse God Hashem highlighted to us for this Bible study. Reminder. Haftorah, Isaiah chapter 40 verses 1 through 26. Today's Bible study is complete. Thank you merciful Hashem, for allowing us to meet this day. Closing comment and sources and priestly blessing. Note, all sources are hyperlinked to allow more translatable version in podcast. I pray others got something out of this portion, Tanakh Bible study, and spiritual Torah teaching. Until next time, let us close with the priestly blessing. And Hashem our God spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to Aaron and his sons, saying, This is the way you shall bless the children of Israel. Say to them, The LD bless you and keep you. The LD make his face shine upon you. And be gracious to you. The LD lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. So they shall put my name on the children of Israel, and I will bless them. In Hashem and Hashem's alone mighty glorious name. Forever and ever. Amen and Amen. Cover art created by Marie Speaks God's Grace Bible Study, photos or Facebook page. For those that are new to this Bible study, welcome, the following is a brief review of this Bible study. 1. This blog post will have the resources and sources links for the Season 5 Bible Studies. 2. All books used and readings from During Live Bible Study can be found on our website, Marie Speaks God's Grace. Live in the Season 5 portion of the website. 3. After live Bible studies have completed, I will upload to Rumble and post link in this blog. How we conduct Bible studies here. We believe in one and only one God. Hashem, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. We do not and will not pray in any other's name or praise any other, but Ha. Shem. Exodus chapter 20, 
2-14 God spoke all these words, saying, I the Lord am your God who brought you out of the land of Egypt, the house of bondage. You shall have no other gods besides me. You shall not make for yourself a sculptured image or any likeness of what is in the heavens above, or on the earth below, or in the waters under the earth. You shall not bow down to them or serve them. For I the Lord your God am an impassioned God, visiting the guilt of the parents upon the children, upon the third and upon the fourth generations of those who reject me. But showing kindness to the thousandth generation of those who love me and keep my commandments. We believe God has called each of us to search matters out. It is the glory of God to conceal a matter. And the glory of a king to plumb a matter. Like the heavens in their height, like the earth in its depth, is the mind of kings, unfathomable. Proverbs 25 2-3 This is one reason why here at Marie Speaks God's Grace Bible Study, we review several historical references and resources, of which we provide links and or screenshots for others to study at their leisure. We have been directed by God Wonderful and Almighty, to go book by book, verse by verse, sharing His Torah and Tanakh. We believe as directed by God our Heavenly Father, learning and growing in Torah and Tanakh leads to understanding and wisdom, this shall only be achieved in reading, studying, and sharing His Word for ourselves, not relying on man. Learning, growing, and studying with our LD is to be done with others that are like-minded, but more so during our personal time. The blogs are written to assist those just beginning to study the Bible as a starting point. The live or recorded Bible studies are to cover and release opportunities and guidance, but ultimately is one's own personal responsibility to rule, govern, and be purposeful in their relationship with God. Proverbs 22, 4-6 The effect of humility is fear of the Lord. Wealth, honor, and life. Thorns and snares are in the path of the crooked. He who values his life will keep far from them. Train the lad in the way he ought to go. He will not swerve from it even in old age. Ezekiel 18, 20-22 The person who sins, he alone shall die. A child shall not share the burden of a parent's guilt, nor shall a parent share the burden of a child's guilt, the righteousness of the righteous shall be accounted to him alone, and the wickedness of the wicked shall be accounted to him alone. Moreover, if the wicked one repents of all the sins that he committed and keeps all my laws and does what is just and right, he shall live, he shall not die. None of the transgressions he committed shall be remembered against him, because of the righteousness he has practiced, he shall live. Is it my desire that a wicked person shall die? Says the LD God. It is rather that he shall turn back from his ways and live. May Hashem, blessed be he continue to bless us all and may we all be forever written in the book of life. Omein and Omein. A little about me, I love Hashem, Torah, and Tank. I am not perfect. If we meet, we talking about Torah, drinking tea or coffee, and what books are out about Hashem. And maybe over some pizza. Maybe over some steak, make over cake or on a bike during a hike, while riding on a train in the rain, but either way, we'll be talking about Torah. What is import to me colon dot 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 a relationship with our father El Elohim Elyon Hashem our merciful and wise king, in heaven, Torah and family. My thoughts, we may not be perfect, but we study, we learn, we laugh, and we grow, we try. My goals, to learn and grow and share love of Torah and Hashem with others who are willing or open to hearing. I have been using the Minds.com account https colon slash slash www.minds.com slash Marie Speaks at Parade Rest and Rumble, Live Bible Study Video Post, Rumble https colon slash slash referral.rumble.com slash jbd Huntix Key CRP7 As main accounts Lastly, never lose faith Let's continue to love like and pray Pray for our nation, enemies, fellows, and many lost sons and daughters of returns. Hashem is on the move. Blessings. Marie. Let U.S. begin. Link to Rumble Live Bible Study. Link to previous Bible study. Audio podcast blog version of Bible study. Audio of blog. Link to YouTube Live Link Bible study. Click and follow for shorts. Mm-hmm.